Hello everyone. Today let's learn how to find the surface area and volume of solids with depression. So friends in this example we have a cube of length 10 cm. Now from here a hemisphere of diameter 7 cm is removed or it is scooped out. We have to find the surface area and volume of the remaining solid. So let's first find the surface area of this solid. Now to find the surface area first let's consider which surfaces we have to include. Now if you recall in a previous video we have mentioned that the main guideline is to include surfaces that are outside or visible and to exclude surfaces which are inside or not visible. So friends if you see which surfaces are visible to us definitely the five faces of the cube they are visible to us so they will be included so let me write that the five phases of the cube yes also friends, if you see in the sixth phase, the entire phase is not removed. These corner edges are still there. They are still visible. So we have to include them also. So let me add the four corner edges also have to be included. Now when we removed this hemisphere, did you also observe that there is a new surface which is created here? See friends, earlier the surface was not there. But now we have created this new surface which is hemisphere in shape. Did you observe that? So it is very much visible to us. So we have to include this hemispherical surface also. So we have to include, can I say it is the curved part of the hemisphere? Yes, so it is the curved part of the hemisphere that we have to include. So we have now decided which surfaces we have to consider for finding the surface area. Now let's see how do we find the areas of these surfaces. So can I say the total surface area of the solid we are going to find. Now that is equal to the five faces of the cube and the four corner edges. Now how are we going to find this surface area? Now of course the five faces of the cube we know what is the formula. But to get these four corner areas, there is no direct formula. So what we'll do friends is, first we'll find the total surface area of the cube. That is the area of all the six surfaces. And then we'll simply subtract the area of this circle. See, the circle which is not at all visible to us. So that if we subtract, what are we remained with? Yes, the area of the five faces of the cube and the area of these corner places. So let's write here the TSA of the cube minus the area of the circle. I hope you got this friends. Now how do we get the curved part of the hemisphere? Yes that's very simple. We just have to take the curved surface area of the hemisphere. Yes we don't have to take the TSA because remember TSA will also include the flat circle over here but that is already removed. So now let's find out what are the formula that will be needed. So TSA of the cube means 6a square where a is the side of the cube minus area of the circle that is pi r square where this r is nothing but the radius of the hemisphere okay plus the CSA of the hemisphere, we already know the formula. Yes, it's 2 pi r square. Now this 2 pi r square minus pi r square will give us, yes, plus pi r square. I think nothing else can be done. Let's substitute the values and do the calculations. So friends, the surface area of the solid comes out to be 638.5 centimeter square. You can just check out the calculations. Now let's find out the volume of the solid. So initially it is a cube from which we remove the hemisphere. So first we will find out the volume of this cube. Okay, we'll find the volume of the cube and then because we are removing a hemisphere, we are going to, yes, we are going to do subtraction. So we are going to subtract the volume of the hemisphere. I hope you got this friends. Now, what is the volume of the cube? Yes, A cube where A is the side of the cube minus the volume of the hemisphere is 2 by 3. Yes, pi r cube. R is the radius of the hemisphere. Now, let's substitute the values. So, friends, the volume of the remaining solid comes out to be 910.167 centimeter cube. Please uh, check out the calculations. So, friends, I hope you found this video useful. If so, please do give it a like. Consider subscribing to enjoy math and please leave your questions, your suggestions and feedback in the comment section below. So till we meet again, take care.